A User's Guide to Free Bellark Advisor. I'm Huey Poplock. Bellark is an American software company. From their website, Bellark Advisor displays a detailed profile of your installed software, hardware, and security vulnerabilities in your web browser. It runs on most Windows computers from 8.1 and newer. As far as browsers go, it runs on Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Safari, Opera, and many others, including Brave. Once you download it and install it and try to run it, one of the first things that will pop up is this notice. And please note that the Bellarc Advisor must run with full administrator privileges. No changes are ever made to your system or its settings. Click on the Continue button. So this is what it looks like when you're in the menu. You find the Bellarc Advisor. You right mouse click on it. And when you do, you will get this menu. And then you click More and you will see Run as Administrator. You want to click that. If you have a shortcut on your desktop, just right mouse click it and click Run as Administrator. We're going to speed up some of this next part, so let's get started. Let's run Bellarg Advisor as an Administrator. So we're going to right mouse click it and then click where it says Started Administrator. First, it's going to want to check for security definitions and make sure they're up to date. It checks and says there are some new ones available. Do I want to go ahead and do it? It says yes. And then the definitions have been updated. Then we click OK. Now it's updating the profile of this computer, checking for missing security updates checking the security settings of the computer, checking the local network of the computer, and it gives us the computer profile. Once you run it, you're going to get a page that looks like this as an HTML in your browser. Now, because it's so much information on there. We're going to break it up into little pieces so you, you will see what information you get from Bellarc Advisor. At the very top, it says the license associated with the Bellarc Advisor product is for free personal home use only. You will see a watermark on each page saying it's for personal use only. At the top, you'll see system security status and it will say there's no score for security benchmark score, uh, virus protection is up to date, and security updates, there are some things missing, and we'll show what that is. The computer pro profile summary shows the name of my computer, when the profile was made, the advisor version, and the Windows logon. Then we have four sections, the operating system, and it does say that it's Windows 11 Professional version 23H2, and it gives the build number. Uh, it gives the install language, which of course is English. And when it was installed, which was 11-17-2021, uh, the servicing channel is general availability, and the boot mode is UEFI. And under system model, there's information there, including the model of the Intel uh, computer that I have, which is a NUC 10 i7FNH. And it gives a system serial number and an enclosure type, which is a mini PC. Under processor, it shows that I have 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i7 and i7-107-10U. The 10 means it's version 10, and the U means it's US, and it tells me how much space, uh, how much memory, 12, 12 megabyte uh, tertiary memory cache, 64-bit uh, ready, and so on. And then under main circuit board, it tells me that it's an Intel 
and it gives me the serial number again and the fact that the bus clock is 100 megahertz and it's uh, UEFI Intel Corp. Moving down the list, it shows me the local storage. It shows that I have a four terabyte hard drive and I have a two terabyte local storage free space. So of the four terabytes, I have over two free. Uh, internal drives, I have a USB disk 3.0 and I have a Western Digital four terabyte drive. Moving down under users, it shows that I have uh, a two users and, and then a guest. guest. Uh, on the right, it shows how much memory I have. I have 64 gigabytes of usable installed memory on two different chips. Gives me the serial number of those. And the local storage volumes, it shows that I have four terabytes and uh, I have some FAT32 on that same drive of 107.3 seven gigabytes, which is the virtual Google Drive. Under printers, it shows several printers, uh, although most of them are PDF printers. And then on the display, it shows I have two monitors, a Lenovo and a Samsung. Scrolling down, it shows me, it shows me more information about bus adapters, virus protection. I'm using a program called Emisoft anti-malware home version under communications it shows i have bluetooth and it shows that i have uh, ethernet and so on you can see what i've got there the wi-fi and then under multimedia i have a digital video recorder and so on and then under group policies i don't have any and then other devices it shows other things that i have plugged into the system Okay, now let's take a look at the bottom where it says scroll to selection. Let's look at the next area where it says scroll to section, and we're going to take each one and take a look at what it shows us. This is the software license section where several of the software packages that are installed on this computer are listed with their software license you'll notice that it's not a complete list of all of the software that comes in the next section where it's the software versions and usage. In this section, there are several things we want to look at, but it is a very long list of all of the software that we have installed. It does not include the software keys or licenses only the software that's installed and what version of that software. But you'll also notice that at the bottom, it tells you that if there's an eye there and you mouse over it, and there's an eye in front of all of them, if you mouse over it, you will see the details and you can click to see where the software is installed. If there's one little red mark, that means it was last used in the seven, last seven days. If there's two marks, that means in the past, it's been used in the past 90 days, but over seven days ago. Three hashes means it was last used within the past year, but over 90 days. Four little hash marks means it was last used well over a year ago. Any unmarked software lacks the data to determine the last one. Here is the complete list of all the software that is installed on my computer. So I'm not showing you the whole list because it would take us forever and you don't need to see all of that. Anyway, I just wanted to demonstrate that there's a lot of software installed that you're not seeing. The next section in the scroll to section is missing security updates. Some security updates and when they were installed and then also the end of life of a couple of items. The USB storage use in the past 30 days where I plugged in a USB stick or a card 
each of them is listed there and the last time it was used on this computer. Below that is a network map of the computer. There are a lot of IoT there's a lot of IoT devices that I have including lamps and and light bulbs and other devices that are not listed here. These are only ones that are part of the computer system. Lastly, uh, the installed Microsoft hotfixes in the last 90 days. And then it lists some information at the bottom. The processor clock speed is measured at computer startup and on laptops may be impacted by power option settings and other notations. The Bellarc Advisor is a free tool for personal use that builds a detailed profile of your installed software and hardware. It also assesses the network inventory, checks for missing Microsoft hotfixes, evaluates antivirus status, and provides security benchmarks. The results are displayed in your web browser and all your PC profile information remains private on your local machine. Nothing is sent to any web server. It's a handy way to get insights into your system configuration. Thank you. I'm Huey Poplock.